been really great to see Maria Teresa being able to be a pundit out there. And, you know, I think that's one of the reasons why we wanted to, you know, to, to do the rewards this year was to kind of even instigate that even more. I mean, the numbers are still really horrifying. And, and I think we're doing better and we're still starting to achieve. And actually, you know, being able to have net, maintain net neutrality is going to be a big part of being able to have as many voices out there as possible. You know, we have, when you look at Huffington Post, they're doing such a great job in having diversity and they're expanding with the, you know, putting on, uh, you know, Part of them that's, that's Latino and uh, black, and like you know, they're really trying to kind of expand. We're seeing you know, Marco Rodriguez is going to have his own uh, channel on Comcast, but like today, so there's, there's opportunities that are definitely being given out to people to get more of their messaging and more. Uh, um, but you know, it's like you know, there's, there's, there's things that I'm watching and seeing as an opportunity. We're needing more women, women's media center, White House projects doing everything that they can. But the Latino have been doing the same thing on our website. We just had a power summit series. We had over 300 students who came from across the nation. We're getting them to be blogging more and sharing more of their personal stories, which is really vitally important. Um, but it's still, like, the numbers are still really, really, really shameful in a lot of ways. When you think about what the actual numbers and demographic of the country is to what, how it's actually reflected. And one of the reasons why I was talking about that in, in, the, in my speech earlier about, about why we continue to need to have this event every year. Yeah. And it's great that it's growing, and it's great that we're seeing more familiar faces, and it's, but it's, it's still, we have not even remotely hit that, that tipping point yet that I think is going to be really critical for us to really get to see who we are as a nation actually reflected on our television. Trayvon Martin case and how much it really polarized people across the nation is a really good reflection of exactly that. So I'm really hoping that people take advantage of this opportunity to be intelligent and thoughtful about how they approach certain subject matter because we all live together. And I feel like a lot of the problem is that people get up there and they want to say their opinion and it's like we just polarize things to the point where it's, it seems like how would it be possible for us to work together? How we do this is not about, yeah. this has really got to be about understanding and moving forward, and that's what's going to make us viable around the world. You know, we have something that's really special. The more I travel around the world, the more excited I am to be an American and to be able to be from here and see how much diversity actually exists. What a beautiful melting pot it is, but we have to get into a little closer and about what that, that, that being a value for our country and not something to be scared of. We definitely crave people who have a uh, story and a personal background that I think could really touch a lot of people and bring that subject matter into, into the conversation. But I think ultimately the thing that's going to be really important is it not just being an issue of race, just like it shouldn't have been the same thing with, with Barack Obama. I think it really has got to be about the leadership and what they're going to represent for the American people across the board. Women, children, elderly, that's all of it. So I think how he speaks and how, you know, and as we move forward, it's going to be really critical. Because again, it's like the same thing. You want a woman in leadership, that doesn't mean that any woman who steps forward is right. the person you need to throw your weight behind. So I think they've got a, they've got a big road ahead of them, and it's not just, it's, it, hopefully it's not just an issue about money, but really about their messaging and how they talk, because the Republican Party has been really quite negative against, uh, you know, um, and has been received very negatively um, by the Latino community. So having Marco Rubio would be a great uh, bridge to that conversation, but it, there's still going to be a lot of work on, on their side to, to really make that something that's going to get their vote.